babe, tell her what you told me about what we matching, boo. Uh, we're matching equal. Black hey, and white. black and white, baby. All right, Booski, you ready? Yeah. First three gears, let's get it. How was the ride, beautiful? It was good, babe. You enjoyed nice yourself? Ride, I did. Good, babe. Nice ride, nice weather. It, it's beautiful weather, man. Yeah. Hey, look, Wood Nation, it is beautiful. It's like 62 degrees. Yeah. I mean, we had some chill moments on the road, but it wasn't too bad, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. And it definitely wasn't bad. Like, uh, this car here, I think the young lady's fixing up her makeup, getting ready for motorcycle parking, motorcycle parking, motorcycle, motorcycle, motorcycle parking, motorcycle, motorcycle parking, motorcycle parking. Oh! Wood Nation, what's going on, bros and bros? Look, man, we had yet another phenomenal service. Oh my gosh. And who's coming to get a synopsis of the word this time? That's right, man. Wifey. You ready, Booski? Y'all in for a treat. Good morning again, Wood Nation. So we are continuing the series for God so loved. Uh, the Beatitudes um, versus blessed are the pure in heart. And that comes from Matthew chapter five, verse eight. Uh, the sermon was led by Pastor Harrison Huxford. Matthew chapter four, verse 17 says, from that time on, Jesus began to preach, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Uh, the well-known uh, Christian writer C.S. Lewis stated, I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it, I see everything else. Matthew chapter five, verse eight, New International Version reads, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. But I really like the message version of that verse. Matthew chapter five, verse eight says, you're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. And that is so cool. I really like that verse or that in, the, in that version um, because it is saying basically, when we get our mind and heart aligned with God and in the will of God, then that's when we can see God. When we're pure in heart, meaning repentant of our sins, um, drawing near to God, desiring to be near God and in fellowship with God, then we can see God. Then we can see beyond ourselves to Him. And God helps us to be pure in heart as well pure in mind. The result of a pure heart, the inner life ordered according to God's kingdom is both access and ability to see God. Psalm 24 verses 3 through 6 reads, Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. 
Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Frustrated are those whose inner life is out of order, impure, for they cannot see God. And, you know, that also says that if we're thinking of ourselves, if we're thinking of, uh, or if we have impure motives, ulterior motives, um, that's um, not of God's will, then those thoughts, those feelings, that mindset does separate us from God. And it does frustrate us as well. Another point, access to see God. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. And that's from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, which is so true because God is holy. And um, so we're to uh, seek um, to be holy, to be like him, uh, to be in peace with everyone. Again, have that inner, um, inner self of um, Holiness and um, purity. Holiness is a gift. And it's definitely a gift from God. Another point. Ability to see God. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And that's from James chapter 4, verse 8. Another point. Confess. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. And that's from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Another point, repent. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalm 51, verse 10. So we hear this psalmist um, asking God, appealing to God for help to create in him a pure heart and a steadfast spirit because only God can do that. But having a desire for those things pleases God and um, allows God to help us because God won't until we ask for his help. And then the final point, resist. The more clearly you see God, the more clearly you see everything else. So resist the temptations, resist the, um, the wandering thoughts, the distractions of our, in our lives, intentional or unintentional, and let us go before God and be and stay in fellowship with God because God desires to be in relationship with us. He desires to um, have us be in covenant with him. And uh, so we can do that um, when we, we pursue God, when we go after God uh, by reading his word, by spending time with him, by fellowshipping with him, by being obedient to him, and by allowing him to help us do whatever uh, he desires for us to do. And in that, we become who he wants us to be. All right, Wood Nation, be blessed. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Um, good job, Booski. Thank you.
Nation, bros and bros, I have a question, man. I don't know if y'all may have a remedy to this or not. This pollen, man, is just out of control, man. I mean, my bike is covered in it. I had my bike outside not even a good 30 minutes, man. And I don't know if y'all knew this about Will Jr., man, but I rock contacts, man. And, oh, it is just not the best, man. So, okay, Ross' bike is not as bad. I was going to wipe his off. I had to wipe mine off, man. He, he got a little on there. My guy Ross can't handle all this pollen either, man. Yeah, I gotta clean it up. So, so yeah, man, what, do, what are you guys' thoughts, man? How did you guys get rid of the pollen? You just kind of let it take its course or what? I mean, man, I can't keep the bike in the garage just to dodge the pollen. All right, there we go. this out Ross have we done anything major on the agenda today nothing major on the agenda today but ride but ride that's it bro that's it we just out cruising man it don't have to be extravagant every time